You had your chance for independence and refused it. Skyhawk, we certainly did not. Certainly did not. We had a chance for independence pre-Brexit. Brexit has done two things, which I predicted seven years ago. Seven years ago this year, Scotty McClure told the world, the whole world, that Brexit would lead to economic annihilation and political fragmentation. Was I right or was I 100% correct? You tell me. So there we are. And Sky, I never, ever, ever appreciate you calling Scotty McClure a liar because I have never, ever lied. I have built my life on telling the truth. It's not always popular, like you don't like it, but that's what Scotland needs to do. They need to have another referendum. They're sitting on, I think, 55% pro-independence at the moment. And if the Scots back the monarch, King Charles, 100% as their head of state, independence may well sail through. If they don't, because there's a couple of idiots eh, as nationalists who don't understand how it all works, if they don't back the monarchy, then the independence could be toast, kicked into the long grass. So that's why people need to get their act together. Uh, so there we are. So we had one chance, Sky. Now it's time for another post-Brexit. The goalposts have been moved. Remember the British government were very, very, very hot on remaining. And then somebody got to somebody and said, the billionaires will end up having to pay tax if we stay in Europe. I said, right, okay, well, we'll get out. We'll work the people from the back. Get the dafties voting us out. Uh, so there we are. You will damage my business if you go through with it. Not at all, Skyhog. There's plenty of business in Scotland. Uh, dinky do, Scotty. K-Mac, you damage nothing if you did that, except a very, very poor union, which is not a union of equals, and has been put together very, very badly by a sort of, a bit of a crazy, by a sort of, a bit of a crazed old bud who was actually the queen at the time. Yes, Queen Anne. She was a bit of a crazed old bud, and she just waved a few quid in front of the Scottish aristocrats, and they went, wow, take the money. They should have said, open the box. Uh, so there we go. Now, <clears throat> chests of silver coming north. I believe, I can't remember the exact amount. It was either 18,000 quid or 36,000 quid. This is 1707 we're talking. Went missing. 